Hey there, guys. Sorry it's been so long. Uh, for I'm just gonna do a quick update on how things are going in my life and everything. Uh, actually, the reason I haven't been making these videos is because I have a job now at Pizza Hut, making the money, and it's been hard to really do these videos. Uh, but I'm gonna try to put them up as soon as I can. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the Black Friday haul that I picked up on Black Friday at Walmart and Best Buy and Target. But, <clears throat> yeah, I'm back. So thank you for all the people who have bear with me over the year and um, just putting up with all my shit on my videos and everything. So thank you guys very much. I uh, really appreciate it. And we'll get right into this. There's a lot. I spent over $200, I'm guessing. Um, first one we have is... Captain in the Woods. The strange thing is, not a lot of people like this. I myself thought it was enjoyable to watch, like when you're alone or have a girlfriend over or something. Um, it's kind of to me like a parody of Evil Dead, in a way. But I really like the concept of this movie, and I thought special effects was, yeah. But the acting was good, and it just delivers delivers something to you, door. Next one we got, I picked up on Amazon, because everywhere I went, they were sold out of it for the $8 deal, and I picked it up for $8 on Amazon, which is Dark Shadows, and this movie is a great Tim Burton film, probably one of my favorites that he's ever done. Johnny Depp is an astounding actor, and just everybody in this movie done really good, uh, especially Chloe Mortis. I really liked her stuff. Uh, I think she's a beautiful actress and a beautiful, uh, beautiful person just inside and out. That's what she said. Um, it's just a really good fun film. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. Next one we got, surprisingly, a lot of people didn't like. Underworld Awakening. I picked this up for 10 bucks on Best Buy, and I really enjoyed this film. I've been looking for it for a good price. I didn't want to pay 15 so I waited until Black Friday and got it for 10 so I'm glad I did that. And this one I also got at Best Buy, but I got it for free for ordering the Underworld. I got this for free, which is The Woman in Black. Now, this movie is put out by Hammer Films, the IFC Films. It's a, a British film, but it's still a great scare. If you've never, if you are looking to say Danny Radcliffe as Harry Potter, that's the only thing you think of him in. Think again, because that's how I thought. I was like, well, it's just a Daniel Radcliffe. It's going to be like a Harry Potter thing. He's not going to be very, very good in it. I was surprised. It delivers a lot of scares, and the acting is good. So I highly recommend it. The next one I have, I uh, picked up at Walmart for uh, $4, I think, which is unstoppable. I watched this with my parents uh, four or five years ago, and I just... It's not four or five years ago. It's been in 2010 two years ago and I really really enjoy this um it's a thriller it's got Denzel Washington which is also a phenomenal actor and Chris Pine which is a very very good actor uh they played in Star Trek for you, you that don't know well four dollars I had to pick it up I thought it was a really good movie next up I picked up um Tuesday after Black Friday was over and everything because it came out on Tuesday so I got Lawless. Now, what I have to say about this movie is, I love it. Tom Hardy, Shia LaBeouf, did an amazing job. Gary Oldman, um, just a phenomenal job. This is in my top ten favorite movies of all time. It just delivered a good revenge storyline and a great story. Uh, and plus, I I live down below Virginia, so this hit kind of hits home for me because I was born in Virginia. But I highly recommend this film. The next one I, I surprisingly liked. I also picked it up uh, Tuesday, and I was surprised. I thought it was pretty good, actually. The Apparition. A lot of people don't really care much for this movie, but I find it really enjoyable. Ashley Green done an amazing job, and so did that guy from uh, Harry Potter, not Danny Radcliffe, Malfoy or whatever. Done a good job of just delivering a good, scary thriller. Didn't have a lot of scares, but it led up to make you believe that it was scary, which is suspense. It was a great suspense storyline, and it was just all together a good movie. I just didn't like the end, so do I recommend this? Yes.
<clears throat> so the ones now are mostly the four dollar Blu-rays. Um, so we'll get into that, I guess. Uh, picked up Princess Bride, which I watched when I was a kid, and I really enjoyed this film. I know John Fleischer has never seen it, which I'm surprised because a lot of people have seen this movie and a lot of people like it. So I'm glad to have this in my collection. Now. I picked up the Die Another Day, the James Bond, because these are skyrocketing in price. So I picked these up because I often like Pierce Brosnan as James Bond. So yes, I picked it up. I also picked up Aliens. This was at Best Buy, I think, for $7.99. I know that I could have got it at Walmart for $4, but I decided to pick it up at Best Buy. So I've actually never seen the Aliens, so I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, this is one I've never seen before, and I heard it was good. Fight Club. I got it for four dollars off my cousin's recommendation. Um, pretty good deal, I think. He says it's a good movie, so I picked it up. Uh, yeah, that's not one of them. Uh, I picked up Fast and the Furious, one of my favorite of the franchise. Um, I really enjoy this film, and I just think it's it's underrated. It's really underrated. Next up, I got. Alien, which I've never seen. I've heard great things about it, so I picked it up. Goldfinger. It's a James Bond film, which is going to skyrocket in price, so that's why I picked that up. So, don't hate. Don't, don't, don't hate. Just to, just appreciate. My hat is, like, freaking crooked. There we go. Anyway, Jennifer's Body. I really like this film. I thought it was one of those things that you've never seen before. Um... It's got twists and twists and turns in it, so I just picked it up for the hell of it. And it's Megan Fox, so I mean, come on. I didn't want to pick this film up because it, they didn't have the first one, so I, I just picked it up for the hell of it, just so I can have it. The Mummy Returns. <clears throat> Next, I'm surprised that I have, because I didn't really care much for it, but I know how much they are, so for four dollars, I picked both of these up: the Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows, Part One and Part Two. I really enjoyed them, actually, though. I didn't really care much for the other things, though. Rise of the Planet of the Apes, the sucky, crappy quality edition, but it's okay for four dollars. The next one I picked up for uh, eight dollars, I think, which is Prometheus. Never seen it. Well, I have seen it, but I've, I've never owned it on Blu-ray, so I picked it up. Uh, these next ones I didn't actually pick up on Black Friday. It was a little bit before Black Friday, but it's all good. The Amazing Spider-Man. Look how thick that this Blu-ray is. Big time thick. The best Blu-ray that I have in my collection as of now. When it first came out, I was like, I'm not going to watch this because it's not got Toby in it. They've done an amazing job on this film. I highly recommend it. Uh, Orphan. Awesome movie. Awesome movie. I got Dawn of the Dead. I never owned on Blu-ray, so I decided to pick it up. Easy A with Emma Stone. The only reason I picked this up because of Emma Stone. Contraband. Now, I don't know what happened in this movie. It's a very good Mark Wahlberg movie. You know, kind of like the action and thriller um, type. But the trailer is hard to find. The Blu-ray is kind of hard to find. This movie is just... Not surfaced yet, I guess, but I don't know if they're taking off shelves or what. I happen to really like this movie, so contraband. And the one I didn't show you was Fast Five because I didn't really get that at Black Friday. I just had that in my collection. But thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, I'm sorry for keeping these videos building up or whatever. But yeah, this is the Black Friday haul. About 26 DVDs. Blu-rays. So thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.